All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most, and with no delay, let's get right into this one. Very interesting, very, very, very interesting. Pay attention, right? So somebody posted a picture, and they said that this is a photo of my little cousin, Donia Johnson. That's her name. She went to work at the Viking Productions LLC call center in Freeport, Mobe, which is Montego Bay, on Monday morning, January 20th, and she never returned home. Her mother and other family members started to search for her all Monday evening and throughout the night. But no one, including her co-workers, knew where she was. I'm going to read extra slow because I want you to understand what is going on here. Then I'm going to say my piece that I have to say. Pay attention, people. All right. Her mother and other family members started a search for her all Monday evening and throughout the night. But no one, including her co-workers, knew where she was. On Tuesday morning, around 9 a.m., we were told that she was found dead in a locked male bathroom. The locked male bathroom is at the facility where she works. Hello? Wanna hear this? Alright. Our family have lost her our family have lots of unanswered questions, but can't seem to get anyone to talk. Dania was three months pregnant, according to another co-worker who was complaining. So Dania was three months pregnant and she was complaining about around 3 p.m. of a stomach ache. And Dania allegedly told the co-worker that she was going to the bathroom. We find it suspicious that no one noticed that Dania's purse was still on her desk and that no one noticed that Dania was gone for over an hour and a half before her scheduled work day was over. Hmm. This is a call center where a message is generated if she is not active after two minutes. Pay attention, people. How does a worker disappear from her desk and the supervisor doesn't realize that she never clocked out until 9 a.m. the next day, especially after her family is calling and asking about her whereabouts, frantically searching for her. So many red flags here. There are so many unanswered questions, and we owe it to Dania as her remaining relatives to find out what has happened to her. We want to ensure that there was no foul play here and we want her boss to be held accountable for not doing his job. They prevented the family and other concerned members of the public from accessing the property to search for Dania and they neglected to search for her on their own when she needed us the most. We want to make this public so that they know that we, the family, will not stop until we get the truth. And we will do what needs to be done to ensure that whatever happens to Dania doesn't happen to another call center worker. All right. Listen, when I do these uh, videos, right, here's what separates me from, well, I'm not going to tell you what separates me from the rest, because then you're going to have the rest trying to do what I'm doing. But check this out. This is our forum. This is our platform. And we are intelligent people. You can't give me no six for nine. You understand? So come together right now, Caribbean people, and listen to this, and put your one and two together, and get your three. 2 plus 1 can only equal 3, no matter how you cut it, right? Alright, there are so many red flags in this story right here 
that it's not even funny. When I do these stories, though, my main goal is to assist. And I've told my audience this before, that I hate, I hate, one time I stopped doing these stories, and I let about a month pass. And I did immigration stuff and jokes and stories about myself and other. And then when I got back to it, I realized that there were about 30 people that were dead under suspicious circumstances and no one covered it. Can you imagine how disheartening it is? For family members, if you're out there right now and you're listening to me, SoFlo TV, I want you to just imagine you being a mom, if you are a mom, or a dad, a sister, or a brother, a cousin, your favorite cousin, auntie, your favorite niece or nephew, uncle, your favorite auntie or uncle, people, just your people or people that's close to you. Imagine someone that is close to you. That is found dead under suspicious circumstances where there are about a million red flags that are flying around everywhere. And nobody feels like they're obligated to give you any answer. It's like a slap in the face. And then when you get slapped and you spin around from that hard slap, it's a kick in the ass that follows. It's like move on go from Ronyaso. Go, bur go bury your dead and carry on with life as usual. That is insult to injury at the most perfectly described, if I had ever seen it. Every one of us with a platform owes it to this beautiful young lady to get some kind of justice for these conditions she was found in and how her life ended. This wasn't no suicide. This was clearly foul play. Now I can sit here and I can say, okay, now is, is the um, law enforcement in Jamaica going to do their job? Crime investigation, are they going to play their role? Uh, prosecutors, um, are they going to play? Everybody that's involved in a criminal case and criminal investigation process of a case, are they going to play their role? The doctors that's doing the autopsy, are they going to play their role? Everybody that's involved, are they going to, going to play their role? This is a weird-ass story. Now, let me run through this again. I'm going to tell you where I, Soflo TV find this extremely weird. Okay, so her family member posts this, right? Because obviously they're not getting what they need out of the people that are held responsible for governing in Jamaica. So here we go. This is a photo of my little cousin, Dania Johnson. She went to work at the Viking Production LLC Center in Freeport, Mobe, on Monday morning, January 20th, and she never returned home. Her mother and other family members started to search for her all Monday evening. Remember, I know. She went to work Monday morning. By Monday evening when she was supposed to come home, her family is so close, so tight-knit. It's not one of them runway gal they live around at the back of the house or live or go from house to house and boy, she could have been missing for about two days and I still may never know. It's not that type of a situation. She went to work on Monday morning, January 20th. And she never returned home. And by Monday evening, her family was so concerned, they're like, no, this is not normal, because Dania would have been home already. And they started frantically searching. And throughout the night and the entire evening, into the next day, they searched. This is crazy. Her, they're saying that no one, including none of her co-workers, knew where she was. Lies. Lies, lies, lies. And more lies. This is a lie. Somebody that she works with knows what happened. And it happened on the job during her work hours. So, 
this is Monday, and Monday night into Tuesday morning, family searching. They even the family even contacted her work people, co-workers, her boss, everybody. Everybody is saying, "Me no know, nobody don't know, don't know. We haven't seen her. She just get up and disappear." This is Monday, you know. Monday, Monday evening to Tuesday morning. So on Tuesday morning around 9 a.m., we were told that she was dead. And she was found dead locked in a male bathroom at the facility where she worked. Now you're saying to yourself, if I'm calling a facility and I'm saying, Hello, Mr. Johnson. Yes, the manager here. Mr. Johnson, have you seen Dania, my daughter? She works there. And you're saying, no, I haven't seen her. No, um, she came in. She clocked into work this morning. Record shows that she clocked into work this morning. She was here. She worked at a call center where all the calls are logged. Right? And there are alarms that go off if she goes inactive for more than two minutes. So she was at work. And it's proven she was at work, right? So an hour, an hour and a half before she was supposed to finish her eight-hour shift, her full day shift, she just get up and go missing. So boss man, go check her desk. She not there. None of her belongings there. Maybe she gone around a bathroom and she faint in her bathroom. Can you check, please? It's my daughter. I want her to come home. You understand what I'm saying to you people? So, this person went on to say that our family have lots of un unanswered questions, but we can't seem to get anyone to talk. Dania was also three months pregnant, which is according to another co-worker. She was complaining around 3 p.m. of a stomach ache, and Dania allegedly told that co-worker that she was going to the bathroom. Now, red flag again. I want to speak to that co-worker. I want to put the spotlight on that co-worker. Is this co-worker male or female? Three months into a pregnancy is kind of early detection of a pregnancy. You understand? And females don't usually tell people, especially co-workers, that they are three months pregnant unless they're really close to that co-worker. So me want to know what else this co-worker knows If you know that she was already three months pregnant Three months a female is not showing The skinniest of female Won't show nothing at three months You know what I'm saying? So what, what else does this co-worker know? And this co-worker's story Seems a bit twisted. Oh, she had a belly ache and she suddenly said she getting up to go to the bathroom. Her family continues by saying that we just find it suspicious that no one noticed that her purse was still at her desk. And no one noticed that she was gone for over an hour and a half before her scheduled work day was over. That's weird as hell. A million red flags just came up right there. So she went to the bathroom. Usually when a female is going to the bathroom, she definitely takes her purse with her. Especially if she's at work. This is not home. It's not like she's leaving her purse in our room or it's around her besties. She's at work, her place of employment. Her purse is going to be something that probably has like her little money in it. If she has any money, her money is in it. Or her IDs or whatever else is in there. And I don't know if they're saying pocketbook versus purse. Because some females carry a pocketbook which is a larger bag. And then inside of it you'll have the purse. And the pocketbook will have makeup stuff and extra pad if she has say her period or tampon and all these. Yes, people may know them things there. Okay? So this whole thing right here. So after her family is calling, now walk with me. After her family is calling, frantically searching. You telling me that that whole purse is sitting at her desk. And the person who runs this facility does not see this. Hmm. Her family went on to say that this is the call center where a message is generated if she is not active after two minutes. How does a worker disappear from her desk and the supervisor does not realize that she never clocked out 
until 9 a.m. the next day, especially after her family is calling and asking questions about her whereabouts all friggin' evening into the next day. Red flag? Big red flag. This is what I think. Now I want to put that spotlight on that supervisor's head. I'm going to turn the supervisor upside down and shake him out because there's something that he knows. Either he was extremely negligent and just didn't care, but I cannot see that being the realistic answer. This sounds more like a cover-up, a concerted cover-up, a cover-up between multiple people. Her family went on to say that there are so many unanswered questions and we owe Dania as her remaining relative to find out what happened to her. We want to assure that there was no foul play here. I'm sorry, but there, there was foul play there. There was foul play there. Her family also wants the boss to be held accountable for not doing his job. And here is why. Listen again. A million red flags again. They prevented the family and other concerned members of the public from accessing the property to search for Dania and they neglected to search for her themselves when she needed them the most in those hours while they were searching for her and asking questions. No, everything shut up, everybody gone home. You can't search in here still, you know, till tomorrow. How? I just want to look real quick to see if maybe my daughter unconscious somewhere in here. Because the last thing I knew was that she got dressed for work this morning and this is where she went. Like she does every other work day. So can I have a real quick look through the facility, please? I'm begging you, it's my daughter. No, was the answer. No. There's a cover-up going on here. Her family member went on to say that we want the public, this public, we want to make this public so that they know that we the fam family will not stop until we get the truth and we will do what needs to be done to ensure that whatever happens to Dania doesn't happen to another call center worker. I hope this never happens to another person, period. Gosh. People, I'm going to cut this one right here. It's SoFlow TV. This is where we reason with intelligence. Okay? I need you to put your minds together. And I need you to leave your comments in the comment section below. And I will meet you there. And I will try to under I will try to answer as many people as possible individually as I can. Foul play, foul play, foul play. Red flag, red flag, red flag. Check her supervisor. Check her co-workers. And I don't mean just ask them funny questions and leave. Dig into them. Because somebody there knows exactly what happened to this young lady. Now, was she really pregnant? I don't really know. But an autopsy report should be able to tell. Right? I'm going to leave this one right here. When I first saw her picture, I actually thought this was a female friend of mine that lives in Orlando, Florida. But she is Jamaican. And I was shocked. And it was sent to me by a very good friend who updates me on all what's going on out there. I was very relieved to find out that it was not the person I thought it was just by looking at the face. And if ever there is someone that has a twin out there that she doesn't know, it would be this young lady, Dania, right here because she looked just like my homegirl. She looked just like my friend. I can relate, but I can't relate to the pain and the suffering, not just her family, but her mom must be feeling and going through.
Talk up in the comment section, and I'll meet you there. I'm out. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It's SoFlow TV, man. Bless upon yourself and walk good, my people. Peace.